Hi, this is Des Blanchfield. I am at the IBM Think 2018 event here in Las Vegas, and I have the pleasure of being with Jamie Thomas, who is the General Manager of IBM Systems and Development. Hi, Jamie, how are you? Hello, great. It's great to see you here. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. So we're at this amazing event. It's, uh, it's the culmination of a number of events now. I think it's the first of its kind in that you're kicking yes. everything into one. Um, uh, maybe could you just give us some insights into kind of what we can expect to see this week from your group? I mean, you've got a, a number of client uh, opportunities uh, around client engagement, client exposure. You've got people on stage with keynotes. You've got panels happening. Uh, you've got the modern uh, infrastructure campus. Uh, maybe just give some highlights on kind of what we can expect to see from uh, the next few days here in uh, Las Vegas at IBM Think 2018. And sure, we're here on the modern infrastructure campus in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. We have thousands of partners and clients here, and I think they're fundamentally here to hear about some of our announcements. Uh, we mm -hmm. are really talking about how do we tackle the data, data explosion, how do we get insight out of this data through artificial intelligence and techniques like that, machine learning, deep learning. And furthermore, we're here to talk about multi-cloud architectures. How do our clients take advantage of these arch architectures for their uh, next generation workloads right. and to, to get the economics out of their uh, infrastructure? There's some very big key points here to take away. And I guess the key thing about attending an event like this is that you're really looking to get the latest and greatest insights on what's happening uh, from not just IBM, but IBM partners and integrators and, and value add resellers and so forth. Um, for folk who are here, uh, what kind of key things should should they be looking for from your team in particular? What are the key highlights around the topics you've talked there where if they're on the floor here, what would you advise them to make sure they absolutely don't miss out on? Okay, well first of all today, it's Monday, we have the Open Power Summit ongoing today with some of our partners. Uh, we have 325 partners around the world with Open wow. Power, understanding how we can exploit the power platform and today we're featuring some announcements with our partners Atos, Hitachi and uh, Inspur in particular. Um, as we go through the week, I think the uh, Expo Center is going to open up and we're mm -hmm. going to see highlights of our new Power9 architecture, our Z14s in the Expo Center. Uh, we'll be talking quite a bit of, about new workloads of the future and right. how we secure those workloads. So things like blockchain and yep. how we tap into the state-of-the-art security capabilities of the Z14 in that context. And of course, it's all back playing by managing uh, data effectively with our with our storage products. So I think if the wow. if we have an opportunity for folks to come in the expo, they're going to see a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, to dive a little bit deeper on a couple of the points you talked about, I mean, um, you talked about blockchain. I mean, obviously, there's focus on security, data privacy, data protection, just power and performance, and I guess you know reducing time to value. What are some of the conversations you're having? What are the key topics that people are asking you about in the lead up to this event? What sort of things are you seeing around the whole client engagement, the whole offering management side of the world that, that surrounds you? What pain points are people facing that, that the offerings you've got today uh, can solve immediately? Well, I think our clients are really first and foremost trying to understand how they reach their clients in a meaningful way. Right. And it's really about a really fast paced consumer based notion that they have to use data to their advantage. And that's where this modern infrastructure really plays a key role. Right. Because it allows you to not only manage the data, for instance, and, and have the right architecture, but once again, create a killer application that's going to really make a difference for your business. Right. And that's really what I think folks are here for. And, and it comes with all of the benefits, I guess, uh, you know, the whole DevOps, continuous development, continuous integration capability. Uh, and, and someone showed me the other day when we did a, a tour of your Poughkeepsie site, this whole sort of, you know, single pane of glass to manage from the top of the physical infrastructure all the way down to the ecosystem and all the supporting tools and monitoring tools around that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think when you look at something like Z14 and you had an opportunity to come out and see our test floor, I which did. is an amazing test floor. I never wanted to uh, leave. <laughs> one of the things that we really focus on is how do we have that, once again, pervasive encryption, end-to-end -end mm -hmm. encryption that allows cl clients to have confidence as they deploy these new workloads in the mm -hmm. cloud, take advantage of the p power and capability of the cloud. But once again, you never give up on security, right? You always no. have security there. Uh, it's, at, at your fingertips. It's good to just, and what I really like now is it's actually baked into the platform, so the yeah. entire ecosystem. And uh, a couple of your team demonstrated the whole process of enabling it actually at chip level, as, as well as the infrastructure piece. So whether it's data in motion or data at rest on disks or in the network. Uh, but what I really love is the fact that, as you just touched on, if I'm building infrastructure, I'm building systems, I'm developing software and integrating other third party pieces to it, now effectively I don't actually have to think about it necessarily other than know that it's there and it's baked in. Right. Um, and it's cost effective and it doesn't slow things down. It's always on, it doesn't slow things down, you have the same speed, 
And of course, you don't have to change your applications to take advantage of the pervasive encryption right. in the Z14. And that's really important because developers are a big part of the constituency out there that we need to reach. Mm. And there was also uh, an interesting topic around, uh, I guess, what's happening with secure service containers and the integration of, I guess, uh, data moving even just within the system itself. Uh, and that even if you were the administrator or you had uh, root access, let's say, to the box, you couldn't necessarily get to that data. And that's a really key thing yeah, I the, think we haven't seen before. Yeah, the system is absolutely tamper-proof. And that, that goes back to what you were saying. We've got encryption baked into the uh, chip. We also then have a cryptology module that is state-of-the-art in terms mm -hmm. of managing the keys associated with security on the machine. And then, of course, in the context of something like Linux, yep. we've implemented this secure service container, which is the industry's first uh, secure container, really, which is very important in terms of how clients want to deploy workloads right. in these new environments. I guess that gives the, the Linux world now access to what we've effectively uh, assumed has always been there in the, in the Z family, right, with yeah. just this whole secure service exactly. capability. Uh, you mentioned blockchain, there's a whole bunch of other things around that, um, and you've done some exciting things around uh, uh, with things from like blood diamonds through to moving containers with Merrick. Um, where do you see the whole blockchain thing moving with what your platform offers now? I mean, is it fair to say that people can almost assume that blockchain is going to be built into most of the things that they're going to do in the future? I think that blockchain will fundamentally reshape many industries. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we really think some of those key industries, are, of course, are financial services, yep. healthcare, logistics and supply chain. Right. Uh, food safety is just another great example of yep. supply chain in action. And so uh, I think it will fundamentally shape uh, many industries. And, and interesting enough, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shape how all of us interact, I think. Um, in the, in the future going forward, I was uh, hearing reading an article about digital blockchains for resumes, right? I like uh, that. So it's really integrity mm. of resumes and your credentials to make sure that it's mm -hmm. always uh, accurate. And I guess the, the key thing there is that um, when we share our data, even if it's just a, a CV or a resume, we, we almost want to get control back in that we want to provide it to people and third parties and, 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 and platforms to use our data for our benefit and potentially their benefit. But we want to be in control of that, whereas we may not have always had that with other third party yeah. systems, would we? Yeah. That, exactly. I mean, this is an indelible uh, re you know, identity, if you will, in yeah. terms of always having the, the truth and yeah. not being able to erase uh, the data Absolutely. over a period of time. Well, you've got an amazing event here this week um, here at uh, Think IBM's Think 2018. Um, I actually lost track of the uh, headcount of what was going through the door and uh, the lines to get in this morning were just phenomenally exciting. And I did it before and after the uh, escalators going upstairs with nobody last night yeah. and just packed back to back this morning. Yeah. Um, so folks, if you are here, make sure you get in and see the uh, modern inf uh, infrastructure campus, have a walk around. The, uh, in the afternoon, I believe the campus is open for people yes. just to go around and do tours and talk to some of your SMEs. Exactly, and they definitely want to go in there and see the exciting uh, technology that I spoke about. Mm -hmm. But also we have the Aston Martin uh, Red Bull you have. Formula One racing car in there, it's quite cool, as well as the IBM Q quantum computer. And I have to say, IBM Q wow. is quite stunning. Looks quite nice in there. Looks pretty cool. Well, if, if, if nothing else, just go and see those two highlights and, and do a circumnavigation on the floor. Well, thank you so much yes. for jumping on camera yeah, with me, thank Jamie. You. It's been an absolute pleasure Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to and, have you uh, here. And I'm looking forward to walking around seeing a number of your SMEs in the next few days and uh, getting them on camera as well. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks again. Folks, we're going to wrap up there. So if you are at Think 2018 here at Las Vegas, make sure you do get in and check the campus out with the modern uh, infrastructure space. Um, have a look at some of the offerings that the team have. If you are not here, you can follow us on social media through LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, etc. Make sure you follow Jamie and uh, you'll see my feed uh, streaming all day, all evening. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. See you soon. Bye.